Right, we're going to have a go at some various um, shading, rendering, and some some presentation techniques. We're going to add some shadows, um, and we're going to add some some coloured blocks as well, just to lift your ideas away from the page even more, and give them that kind of professional look. Really, kind of brighten up the page as well, and really kind of make your ideas stand out. Uh, before you begin, you need to erase all the pencil lines. If you've got any crates or construction lines on your page, you're going to need to erase them. Okay, we start with some very simple shading. I'm going to pick a nice simple block. Go to the block down here at the bottom. First of all, I need to decide where the light's coming from. The light's going to be coming down from uh, from above to the left. In this direction. So the lightest part is going to be the top of the block, some light will get to the front of the block and the darkest part is going to be on the side here. Remember to always follow the direction of the line when you're shading as much as possible. Uh, I'm also going to use a ruler to help me. Uh, I'm swapping hands, so you, you'll be, you should be able to move the page around. Your page doesn't have to be sellotaped tape down to the table. Okay, so that's my darkest side. Get as dark as I can. Then I'm going to the medium side, which is here. And I'm going to follow the line of the bottom of the block. And again, if you want to, you can use a ruler to help you so that you don't go over the edge of the block. Keep it nice and neat. And the top of the block, really light really light. I'm just going to just touch the top and there we go. And that just adds a bit of shading to the block and makes it look a bit more three-dimensional. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick another colour. I'm going to have a go at this block here. Uh, this time uh, the light is going to be coming from uh, the top again. This time in from this direction. So the lightest part is going to be this part here and then these two parts probably medium and this part, the front of the block is going to be quite dark so again following the direction of the line it's on the bottom of the block I'm following use a ruler to help me that's really dark, that's ok medium next this one's going to be this one here. So don't press on so hard with your pencil crown. Then the top. Again, you're a bit more flexible line, you can move the page around. And then the front of this block is going to be really light. I'm going to try shading. Cylinder. Uh, do this one first. Now the cylinder starts very dark on the edge, and then I need to decide where the lights come from. Well, it's going to come from um, across the cylinder this way, and then down straight, so that the light goes across the top and then down. So I start very dark, and I'm getting to taking the pressure off my pencil as I go. This time, so dark, and then I'm taking the pressure off, taking the pressure off, taking the pressure off until nothing. So it's very light. The top, and the top, the light's hitting at it at an angle, so my direction of my pencil marks will be at, at an angle as well. And the light will go across the top and then down the side of the cylinder. That. So you're going to get this white mark that goes across this way and then down in this direction. You can see that. There you go. Okay, have another go. Have a go at this one. This time I'm going in the opposite direction. The light's going to come from this direction across and then down. Usually, just to make it look a bit more three-dimensional, the, the white or the shine on the, the cylinder We'll move it to one side. So the shine, if you like, 
this light that's hitting the cylinder is not down the centre, it's to one it's just to one side either side. Again, about a 45 degree angle on the top. Start dark, lighter, 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 and then nothing. So we get this kind of shine effect on the block on the cylinder coming across and then down. Okay, let's try a um, one of the prisms. Let's try something very simple again. Again, this face here, the light's going to be coming from this direction, hitting this face, and then the front face will be dark. Only two faces to deal with this time. So it's a lot, well, pretty simple. And then very light on this side, very light indeed. Again, look my pencil direction. My pencil direction follows this line here. You could, you could go this way, but this is kind of the direction the, the, that this face is moving in. It's moving from front to back. There you go. We're going to do one of the shapes where we've got something missing or a piece missing that's been cut out or where we've got an extra block. Make sure your pencil crayons kept sharp. Okay, so this time um, we're going to have uh, a, a light. The light's going to come down again from the top. It's going to hit these two areas here. They're going to be light, probably medium here, probably light, and then probably going to medium. I'm going to add a bit of shadow there and dark on the side here. So this is my darkest area. Again, I prefer it to go this way. It follows the line of the shape. The front, we'll say that some light is going to hit the front of the object. So this is going to be medium. And if you want to make it a little bit darker, just go over the top of what you've done already again. That's fine. Okay, this area here, this area here is going to, going to be dark. I did say it was going to be medium, I think it's going to be dark because it's kind of the opposite side, or it's the same facing. So if the light's coming across here, then that area now is not going to get much light. This area will start off dark, and we're going to actually just use a bit of tone here where we're going to go. And go lighter as we go across. So a little bit different, a little bit of a different technique there, because the light can't get to here. But as we go along, there will be some light hitting that surface. And then the top, just just touch it very lightly. And there we go. We're also going to add, we'll add a shadow to this object. Uh, so you're going to need a black pencil crayon. Um, and we're going to add a very simple shadow. The light is coming from here, so there'll be a shadow this side. Keep it on, keep it very simple. Just two lines. We're going to draw the outline of the shadow first. Just two straight lines coming out there, and we follow the 45 degree line with the shadow. And basically, that's it. Try and get a, a nice, flat, even tone on the pencil and there we go and we could if we wanted to just add a bit of a shadow there with the black. It's good. Okay while we do that do the same for this block. This time the light's coming in this direction, it's hitting that side. So we're gonna have a shadow as it comes out like this. Again, we're going to keep it very simple. It's a very simple shape. You just follow, we just use the lines of the object 45 degrees, 45 degrees, horizontal shade that in. And obviously, it tells us that the light is coming from this direction.